Hey love bugs, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. So today we're doing a bob, a 12 inch longer bob. We like to call them lobs, long bob. I love it, it's simple, fun, and to the point. I feel like looks like this are perfect if you are trying to like capture your looks and you wanna be able to look back on them five years from now, 10 years from now, like when you have kids or when your kids are older, you want the looks to be timeless. I feel like a long bob is definitely an easy way to go because I feel like it never goes out of style. To me, it never goes out of season if you're going on vacation in the summertime, if you're a mom, if you're a teacher, um, winter time, all seasons along Bob works. And this one here is absolutely perfect. It's a pre cut lace, it's a closure wig, and it's super simple and easy to install. You see in just a moment all the tips and tricks I use. And in the in the final hour, I did go in and just add a little bit of wispy baby hair. I don't really want to swoop them too hard. I wanted them just to lay and fall where they may. I may cut them short later, I may send them back into the hair and just do no baby hair later we don't know but for right now i'm loving the way it came out so if you're interested in getting the look and the tea and the deets on this look keep on watching okay ladies jumping right into it this is the packaging but i'll show you all the free goodies at the end of the video here is the star of the show this is a pre-cut lace bob wig she is a six by five closure wig and she is set as a center part this is the back of the wig and the inside of the wig it doesn't have the adjustable elastic band but it fits the nape super snug without the combs and everything that may manipulate and you know cause balding in the back of your head this is what she looks like on as i did mention she is a pre-cut lace and i'll show you more detail about that in just a moment i did go in and just add a little bit of powder i used a powder that's almost gone so you guys can see it really didn't make a huge difference but you feel free to go in and tint the lace and do a better job than i did for this one i probably should have used my maybelline fit me um foundation uh liquid foundation and it would have warmed it up really really nice I'm going to go ahead and get into the styling. I'm going to add the Dynamic Duo, which is my wax stick. And I like to pair with the electric hot comb. But first, before I start with the heat, I do like to go in and perfect the parting. It's like once you lay down that wax, you can get the lace parted so, 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 so perfectly. So I went ahead and did that. And now I am going in and just pressing out all of that lace closure area trying my best to get it as flat as possible now be mindful if your foundation which is your braids underneath or just your hair in general underneath is not flat it's going to be even harder to get the uh wig flat so if you see any lumps and bumps my actual hair was in braids but it was not flat at all so i did the best i could and i think it still came out flawless to the point that you wouldn't even know if I didn't tell you. Now here is a close up of the hairline. Um, If you want to add an elastic band inside you can. And that will make the wig fit glueless. Here I am just going in and just straightening out the hair. Soaking it out and bumping it. It's already straight so it doesn't need to necessarily be straightened. But when you add that heat it does add a silk element to the hair. And then of course I like to bump the ends on my bob wigs. And this wig was no exceptions. It was very easy to work with there was no shedding no tangling no crazy smells and it had nice body to it this is what it looks like once you go ahead and straighten it out nice and silky you can also add a heat protectant if you like but um i didn't this time because i really didn't use like an extreme amount of heat now this one is a pre-cut lace but i did go in and just cut it all the way into where the hair starts just a little bit more which is simple and easy to do you don't have to do that but it's definitely an option god bless me guys i know you have to say bless you when someone sneezes even if it's yourself now we're going to go ahead and bond it down and i'm using the even product and i'm today i'm using the black one um and i'm just going to blow dry it down on a cool setting if you don't want to blow dry just Add the product, add the lace on top, work it in, dab off the excess, and then you can use like a melt belt and it'll naturally like air dry if you're on your way out the door. Now here I am actually tinting the lace. I am using a Rupee Kisses foundation powder along the hairline just to warm it up really nice. 
Now I'm going to take that Maybelline Fit Me foundation, the liquid foundation that I was talking about. It's affordable. You can find it at your drugstore. And nine times out of ten, you have this or you've had it at some point. It's affordable. It's easy to uh, come by. And it works great to tint your lace without being like overpowering or overbearing. Now I'm going in with a black eyeliner. And this is like the MAC Cold Pencil. And I'm just perfecting the parting. Okay, ladies, we are done with the look. I decided to opt for, I decided to opt. I, did, I opted or did I decide both? I decided that I would opt for a no baby hair, clean, simple, sleek look. But I'm kind of wanting a little bit of something in the front. What do you guys think? I feel like I should do just a little bit of feathery something just to break it up and give it a little personality. Nothing too heavy. So let's do that really quickly before we talk about it. Okay, here's going to be simple and easy. I'm just going in and pulling forward some pieces. I don't want it too thick. And I'm so happy that this one was like pre-plucked really nicely. So this was very easy. And I'm just kind of giving it like a jagged cut because I don't want it to be blunt at all. And I'm going to add a little bit of um, edge control to the base. And then I'm just going to curl the pieces under not necessarily adding too much heat but i just want to make them a little bit more on the wispy side you guys already know you can definitely skip baby hair if you like but i just felt like it brought it together uh for me and just for my taste personally this one is affordable and of course you guys already know it's in the description box um you can get it in a 12 inch a 14 inch or a 10 inch i have it in a five by six pre-cut lace closure but you can also get it as a 13 by four air cap um, and again it's affordable you can't beat that with a bat now I am finishing up with the baby hair. And as you guys can see, I'm not doing like perfect swoop shapes. I just want to give it a little bit of shape. So I'm kind of like semi-forming it so that it can sit there and just mold itself. Okay, I think I like that much more. I know you guys probably liked it before without the baby hair, but this is more me. And I think it just breaks it up a little bit. And as you guys can see, it's wispy. It's not the glue down. So, of course, if I can send it back if I want or I can just take it away, I can plug this out completely. Whatever I want, I can continue to do. But you guys already know I love a good wispy baby hair carefree moment and now the wig is perfect to me so this one did come from mega look you guys already know mega look and i really 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 have a great bond i love their hair so much and they love me so much so they sent me this beauty and this is the packaging so inside of the packaging you did get this little dust bag and you guys know you guys have seen me um work with this company many a time so this is no surprise but i'll show it anyway for those of you who are new pack of wig caps edge brush pack of eyelashes, melt belt that says mega look on it, as well as the infamous pearl clip. The wig itself is absolutely gorgeous. We're going long bob today. So you guys know me, I love a good center part with my bobs and I love to bump it just ever so slightly at the bottom. When it comes to bobs, I love the fact that, you know, you can have like a nice bump to it like this and this just gives a very good everyday, fun, nice girl next door, sweet sleek look but if you want it to be edgy you can go ahead and make it like bone straight if you're going for like a 70s look you can also like try to flip it maybe with my next bob i'll try to flip it outwards i don't think i've ever done that on this channel i don't think i've ever done that in my adult life to be honest but i do remember my mom flipping my hair outwards like elementary days i would say maybe when i was like nine or ten years old um a couple of times she did the outward flip on my natural hair which was so cute i think i still have pictures of me with that look um so yeah that was like a hot a look for like a hot minute but this is the wig here again nothing too crazy now this one did have a pre-cut lace i did go ahead and cut a little bit extra off because i didn't want too much extra lace on top and i think it came out perfectly so if you're interested in this one of course all the details are in the description box this is a 12 inch bob it is absolutely perfect for your safe comfort zone bob where you can kind of like get away with doing different styles but it's not like too above the shoulders if you will thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out the description box if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't already and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches